Hello to my Cancers. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading. Let's get into it, Cancers. Let's go. All right. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards, Cancers. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards, Cancers. All right. Take only what resonates with you, Cancers. If it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't resonate with you, okay? Let's go. Happy full moon. All right. All right, so here we have the Ten of Cups. Here we have the Tower card. Here we have the Ten of Pentacles. Here we also have the King of Cups, Three of Cups, and also the Wheel of the Year. Talking to you, wherever Cancer's in your birth chart. See you sitting around a table full of um, sacred relationships, right? So you're having a Tower moment. This is prayer warrior time, right? Here we have the King of Cups. Somebody um, had an encounter with a shark. Master manipulator, a man. Somebody had an um, encounter with a master manipulator. And so, again, something has definitely brought you to an e a, a emotional maturity, though. Something has brought you to emotional maturity, so a level of emotional maturity um, that now you're just at a different, just a different frequency. That's all. Here we have the will of the year. So somebody's going to be feeling very fortunate, you know, um, that when people jump to conclusions about you, um, I mean, you're thinking you're just kind of sitting, sitting around having a conversation and people are jumping to conclusions about you and, you know, going all in, you know, aligning themselves with people and doing all kinds of stuff, you know, because they don't know their worth and their value talking and doing all kinds of stuff. They jump into conclusions about stuff. So it's just saying to you. It brings you to another level of emotional maturity, you know, that, like I said, Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> Somebody was dealing with an energy who wanted to be a part of something so bad. It just, I don't know who this energy was, but they jumped to conclusions about something. And, but things are, things are working out for you very well. So anyway, on to the next. On to the next, on to the next, on to the next, on to the next. Whoever this guy is, looks like you had an emotional connection with him. It could be a family member for you. It could be a family member, somebody that you were emotionally connected to, that you thought you were just sitting down having a conversation with, and they just start talking. This is unfortunate. It looks like it was somebody's family member. It is somebody's family member. You start talking to them, they jump to some conclusions, and um, they didn't even... And this is somebody that you have spent some time around. That's what, the, that's what you have, this will of fortune. I mean, this, this will of fortune. And it was unfortunate that they just went right into, but it's it's probably because they had something to hide. That's why they jumped to conclusions. It was, this is somebody's family member. They jumped to some conclusions about something because they had something to hide. That's why they just went right into talking. But anyway, I see you in more sacred bonds, more sacred relationships. So... tower fell on them so source is giving you an opportunity to close off your life so whoever this loved one is yeah this is a family member here we have the eight of swords here because their energy was definitely trying to restrict you in some way shape form or fact i'm sure that somebody never saw this coming but wow some energy was definitely they saw you as just like this um Whoever this energy was, they were just talking just dark. I mean, they were saying negative stuff. This is a fa somebody's family member. It was an emotional connection. They had um, this is a guy like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is like somebody has some kind of an emotional connection with somebody. Um, and they were saying some pretty dark things about somebody. Could be somebody's brother, uncle. Maybe there was a romantic connection with somebody, cancer. But somebody you may have considered who was like a love interest. Or, I mean, like, like it could have been agape love, but it could have also been a different kind. Maybe but somebody that you've had conversations with. Like you thought it was a sacred conversation, like a sacred bond. And they jumped to some conclusions about some stuff. It was definitely trying to restrict you in some way. Because the conversation that they were having with other people was just very dark. So, But it, it, something brought you to another level of emotional maturity. I feel like that's why Source 
push somebody back into a crab shell because it's something you would not have seen. Here we have the Three of Pentacles here. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. They did something. They were involved in something that you did not authorize. And it actually aligns you with seeing something that somebody else didn't authorize that you may have seen, right? Here we have the Three of Pentacles that somebody else didn't authorize. But it just lets you know, like, you could be around people that you think you know and thinking that, hey, you have a title, but you don't really have the authority. Like somebody, you didn't authorize something. And you could think you have a title as niece, nephew, girlfriend, boyfriend, significant other, colleague, trusted person, whatever, but you don't know I get you don't might ask you for permission, you know, those kind of things. So um that's what I'm seeing here, you know, in the cards. People just impulsive, you know, just impulsively just do things, just master manipulators. So anyway, so some new seeds have been planted. Here we have the seven of pentacles here. Brand new seeds have been planted. So like I'm looking at here, it's like it's harvest time. I do see somebody's money growing. Um, I do see, um, like I said, um, I do see somebody's money growing. I do see, like I said, the tower card here. Um, I do see some sacred bond, sacred relationship happening here. I do see somebody being successful. Here's the sun card here. I do see somebody being successful. <clears throat> I do see you being divinely protected here in the cards. And I do see somebody feeling lucky. I don't know, luck would be the word. Yeah, lucky. I guess fortunate, lucky. All right? You have a guardian angel also watching over you. And I'm protecting you. But like I said, people jump into conclusions about stuff. They don't even know how master manipulators do stuff. People think that they have a title in a person's life and a person doesn't even know what's going on. They have no clue as to what's going on. Right? So, source is saying some people could just be ruthless, but you're free. You're free from something. So, congratulations to you. You're free from something. You're free from something. Here we have the strength card. So I feel like somebody, um, I definitely feel like somebody has, now, source is saying, now you're free to kind of sort of just kind of sort of pour back into you, like make some things about you, right? This is where you can just kind of sort of, um, <clears throat> like I said, you have a guardian angel, but now you can just start pouring back into you, right? Adding some structure and authority into your life, start really pouring into you. That's why a source may have pushed somebody back into a like hermit crab shell mode. Like, okay, now it's time to start pouring into you, get into some sacred relationships. You're at a level of emotional maturity. Start talking about the life you want to create for yourself. Start focusing on your legacy wealth for you, you know, um, you and somebody else, um, your financial independence, you know, take the blindfolds off, start doing the mirror work. You're free. Like, basically, you're free. Because I feel like somebody was in parallel universes with somebody else, right? You have an innate spiritual understanding of things now. Somebody now gets how um, how some things work, right? Here we have the Empress card, right? How people can um, like um, limit or limit people's abundance and their prosperity. Right. So now somebody is motivated by something else. Now somebody said, you know, you're motivated. You're leaving certain things behind. This right here. These two swords right here. One sword is like left behind. One somebody saying like you're moving on from something. Somebody now maybe traveling, doing a little bit more traveling. See this little bus right here? You see this globe? Somebody is now more maybe traveling. You have the like you have the whole world in front of you. So a light bulb has gone off in somebody's brain. Like, okay, now it's starting to make sense. Right, so whoever this energy was could have been a friend or somebody that somebody that you trusted. You could have been a long term friend that was like for you, could have been like somebody you, I mean, somebody you trusted, or could have been a blood relative or uh, somebody you dated or whatever that you just thought 
okay, I can trust this person or somebody that you cried to or poured out to. Let me see about something. You thought, okay, this is the, like it's a safe space and it just wasn't a safe space. But it's just letting somebody know the types of energies that have this, how things can just, especially during the beaver moon. If you know anything about beaver dams, how they build dams very quickly and tear them down very quickly. It can be done within 24 hours, like how things can be built up and torn down just that quickly. Some things can sneak up on you just that quickly, right? So, source is saying, get your rest. Finally, get your rest. Because now you've reached a level of emotional maturity. Coming away from the dark side of emotional, cold and emotional manipulation. From whoever this guy was. All right. So here we have make room for a new blessing. You're finding your own star. So toss some things into a burning bowl. You're healing from the pain that they cause, but adjust your crown. Somebody secretly has a crush on you. Do the mirror work. He apologizes for betraying you. Somebody's an incubus, but you are who they prayed for. Um, don't return your call. Close out the cycle in love. It's all becoming clearer now, but you deserve the best. Um, I see you being booked and busy, not burden at all. Time to do a solar plexus chakra cleanse, but don't crash your pearls, you know, before certain energies. There are signs all around you. Journal your journey. Time to do a sacral chakra cleanse. And um, somebody X wants to return. Trust your first mind. Close out the cycle in love. I feel like somebody's going to have a, um, either a friend or loved one or somebody, a blood relative or like an ex friend or somebody. We're like, oh my God, it was just a misunderstanding. I thought I, I was, I, I don't know what I was thinking. All of this. Right, but source is saying to you, move on, just move on. But something could have really, really gotten somebody in like a whole lot of just like <clears throat> something could have gotten you in a lot of trouble, like really, really, just just because people was jumping to conclusions. And so, but something has also gotten you in a mindset too, um, cancer. It's like you will never jump to conclusions about another person either, whether you know them or don't know them. You will never jump to conclusions about another person either because and you won't jump on a bandwagon either just because of an emotional connection you may have with people about somebody else. So, it looks like it's a lesson all the way around for everybody, really. It's just like don't jump to conclusions about stuff you don't know because you heard something. But you're very close to achieving your goal. Very close to achieving your goal. Whatever the goal may be. Whatever the goal may be. So somebody is now motivated by staying away from certain types of energies. But yeah, so you're connecting with your womb. Connecting with your womb. Something that you're passionate about. So that's going to be different for everybody. So... Um, Connecting with your womb. All right. Again, happy full moon. Happy full moon. But yeah, somebody's now connecting with their womb. But yeah, so change. So when the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything, come to a sacred, come to a sacred crossroads in your own evolution. But health, I cast off feelings of sickness, illness, and discomfort. I am seen as whole by God who created me. My life is a testament to my strength. I grow stronger daily. My memory is better than ever. I recall all ideas with ease. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get a number. Let's close it out. Let's close it out. So I do see somebody's abundance and prosperity growing. Um, <clears throat> mm-hmm. But yeah, two, 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 I am balanced. So trust that the seeds of your thoughts, trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions, right? There you go. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.